Because whenever you heard about Detroit rock music art, Gary Grimshaw's was the first name you heard. So it was the perfect fit. First Detroit Music Awards, Gary Grimshaw doing the first poster. There was no plan B. And thank God he said yes, because there really was no plan B. Grimshaw was an artistic genius. Quiet, slim, and fine-featured with the delicate tapered fingers of an artist and the long, straight black hair hanging to the middle of his back. Grimshaw was a museum-quality example of a hippie. Gary was not a painter or sculptor with an art degree that was hired, brought in to do a few rock posters. He was a self-taught illustrator and designer. We knew Gary not so much through his words, but through his work. Gary was quiet, but when he had something to say, people listened. He had the voice of a giant. His ideas, his observations, his understanding of an analysis was unique and insightful. Gary was truly an inspiration, with not only his art, but his perseverance and dedication to his work and his deep belief in truth and righteousness. Gary loved the bands and the music that he put on the posters, but Gary loved the community and the politics just as much. Make it more effective by making a really good design. And the job was to express that culture, that entire culture. And translated this energy into paper with vibrant colors and flowing images. And Gary's understanding of color, the colors in these posters would leap out it's almost as if they were three-dimensional. His work is now legendary throughout the entire world. Gary's really good designs defined the world, defined our world, and changed it. Gary's willingness to share his talent and to teach. Gary put a vision, a picture to the sound. If you look at a Gary Grimshaw poster, whether it was for Oasis at the Royal Oak Music Theater, or the MC5 at the Grandy Ballroom, or a bunch of local Detroit bands at St. Andrews Hall, you heard music looking at the image. And that, that's really what he did.